Hey guys, it's Student Council wishing you a happy Veterans Day. It's unfortunate that we can't have the ceremony that we have every year, but we did one better. We made you a video. Veterans Day is one of those days where we're supposed to thank those that serve for us. This year, I'm thanking my aunt and uncle by writing them a poem. They've been in the Army and the Air Force for multiple years and sacrificed a lot of things that we tend to take for granted. I hope you guys enjoy our speeches. Have a great Veterans Day. Those who have sacrificed and those who were taken too soon, they watch our nation in division and still protect us from doom. What it means to be a veteran is beyond words, no doubt. They are truly our heroes, so let's give them a shout. They watch us take privilege and liberty for granted, but are the first ones to heed the call when our country demands it. No matter the occasion, they stand fast and stand proud. Yet the sacrifices they make are rarely talked about. A baby, a bride, a groom will have to wait. Because when trouble arrives, they can't afford to be late. They are selfless and loving. This all is true. Take a look around in life. They are all around you. On this Veterans Day, let's give up this time to give glory and praise to a hero who deserves to shine. Who gave up their days so we could have a lifetime of freedom and hope. Let's unite and hold hands. No war should be among us. They fought for the proudest of lands. So remember them all and watch your flag sway and go thank a veteran who is not far away. To those who keep us safe. We tend to take for granted those things in life that we rely upon. We don't often see. We don't see through the same eyes of those who serve or dedicate their lives to keeping us safe. We don't know their same fears or pains, the dangers they face or the crosses they bear. We live our lives in a detached awareness, a vague oblivion, knowing they are there, somewhere, doing something. To those who serve, I honor and thank you. Forgive my ignorance to those challenges you face, to the dangers, dangers that I could not adore. Thank you for the sacrifices you and your family have made. Know that the blood you have shed, the long goodbyes, the unseen tears are not forgiven nor diminished as we honor your dedication to keeping us safe. Thank you for listening and thank you all those have served today honor a veteran. Have a great day. Today we say thank you. Today we raise flags. Today we cheer at the parade. We remember you offered your life to our land. You were brave. Were you also afraid? Today we consider, today we are free. Your sacrifice rings proud and clear. Tomorrow will come, but we understand you gave more than one day of the year. Good morning, my name is Staff Sergeant Thomas. I'm an Army recruiter stationed here in Wolfville, Pennsylvania. Um, I'm actually a Hanover area graduate. I graduated from here in class of 2010. So get to be able to be home, be able to help everybody else out, and kind of show you guys the ropes and what the Army has to offer. 
Hey, I'm Sergeant Guastella. I am a recruiter out of the Wilkes-Barre Recruiting Station. I grew up in New Jersey, and for the past five years, I've been an airborne infantryman serving in Fort Bragg, North Carolina. So, like I had said, it was about three years after I graduated high school, and I feel I finally matured to a point where I realized that the opportunities the Army provided me weren't going to be found on the outside. So during my senior year, when I was looking at enlisting, uh, I actually talked to every branch. Um, my grandfather was in the Air Force, my uncle was in the Marines, and once I got to the Army's office, uh, I kind of just sat down and saw what they were offering on paper, and everything was on paper right from the start. I knew what I was getting, I knew what job I was getting, uh, what my bonus was going to be, so it, it kind of made everything very clear for me at least. Yes, joining the Army is something that I always wanted to do. And I didn't get around to doing it until about three years after I graduated high school. Something drew me into the recruiter's office. It was the right time, and the rest was history. So being in the Army as a whole, being in the military, it's the added benefits afterwards. Yeah, I'm 28 years old now. I have a family of my own. Between the health care, between the different home loans veterans work with, um, it's like joining out of high school, being 17, 18 years old, I never would have thought anything about this stuff. Uh, it took me a little bit to really realize what was all out there now that I am in and now these opportunities are there for me. So I didn't realize how much freedom I would actually have. Uh, I thought that when I got to my unit, I was going to be locked down in a bay with everybody else and not allowed to go home. And it turns out I get, you get a lot of freedom in, while you're in the Army. You can go home at night, go out on the weekends, go out of town, go out of state. It's, you're, you're free to do what you want. It's not as strict as people think. So it really doesn't help or hurt at all. Um, for training, you know, you're gonna be away from your family for a little bit. Uh, that is a little bit harder on some people, especially who have children or who are coming in just a little bit later in the game. Um, but you're, you're gonna have your phone, you're gonna get to talk to them a couple times a week. Um, when you get to your duty station, you know, you, you, you go to your job every day, you put your uniform on, but at the end of the day, you're still going home to your family. And that's what people don't realize. That's a big aspect of it is your family life is your family time. You're gonna see your family. You're gonna have that time to be with them and to grow with them. Um, but really, it, there's no right answer. It doesn't hurt or really hinder you. I would say get an idea for what you wanna do um, for the rest of your life, whether you're gonna stay in the army or do a little bit of time and then get out. There is over 150 job options that the Army offers. And either find something that you really enjoy right now and that you can see yourself doing, or something that's gonna help you when it comes time to get out eventually. So don't sell yourself short. Um, talk to every branch. You know, we, we get no positive, no negative if you, if you do join or if you do decide to go through with enlisting in any branch. So do your homework, talk to every branch, see what's best for you. See who can put it on paper, see who can get you exactly what you want, and then roll with it. I was stationed at Fort Benning, Georgia for basic training. And then my permanent station was Fort Bragg, North Carolina. I also went around to bases in Virginia, Georgia, and Louisiana for training. North Carolina, Fort Bragg, was my favorite. I wasn't far from the beach. The weather was always perfect. Not too hot, not too cold. Winters were mild, summers were mild. It was nice. And furthermore, the area surrounding Fort Bragg was a bit of a melting pot. And there was people from all sorts of cultures all around the country lived there. They congregated there. And I really like people. I like experiencing different cultures and I got that experience while I was there. Where have you been stationed? So, like I said in the intro, um, I started off as a reserves. So what that means is I've been home here in Hanover area for the last almost 11 years. Um, I've gotten my chance to go to different states. I've gotten to train, I've gotten to go overseas. But ultimately, uh, as being in the reserve, I've been here in Hanover. Well, financially for sure. Uh, then there's the educational benefits. I have learned so much 
uh, I feel better fit to take on anything in the world. Uh, that there isn't, there isn't a challenge that scares me, and I think that's something that the Army has taught me. I have never stepped foot inside of a college, but through some of Army courses and schools that I've gone through, I have earned college credits that I can use and apply towards going to college. So to start, even with training, I've got to meet people from all parts of the country, all training together, all being together as one. Um, doesn't matter what your race, ethnicity, culture came from, but we are all trained as one, we're all one together. Um, furthermore, I've, I've been to all over the country, all over the world, actually. Um, it was different. It was nice to kind of see how other countries are, how they live, what their cultures are like towards us. Um, really that and, and, and the family aspect of it. It's very, very flexible. Um, to me personally, my family comes first and, and, and everyone understands that and they all feel the same as well. So if there's a family issue or something's going on, I know my family and I are going to be taken care of first. My favorite activity was being a paratrooper. And so for the past five years, I jumped out of planes. That's what I did. I loved it. Probably never would have jumped out of a plane outside of the Army. And at this point, I have approximately 30 jumps from high-performance aircraft. So I've actually gotten to go to other countries and see how they live, how their, their way of life is, and honestly, what we take for granted is what they're striving to get. That's why they're all trying to come to our country and become citizens. Um, I, I never would have gotten a chance to even visit on vacation. That's not something I was trying to ever do. But to, to see how they live and how they, they are kind of acting now, it, we take a lot for granted and we truly do live in the greatest country in the world. So I've definitely realized that the world is, a, is not a stable place. Uh, more recently, we look at COVID-19 and how that it's, that's affect our way of life. A lot of people worried about losing their jobs. A lot of people did lose their jobs. And uh, thankfully for me, I was blessed that I didn't have to worry about that. The Army's always going to be there. And that's not something that's going to be taken away from me. So you have to think about it. Being 17, 18 years old, you've never really been away from home. You've never been anywhere by yourself. You know, you're about to go to college, you're about to either join the military or do whatever you're about to do, but when you're somewhere new with all kinds of people from all over the country, that more or less is the mental aspect of it. Um, being away from home for a little bit of time, physically, the training is strenuous. Uh, you're gonna sweat. It, it is very strict sometimes, but it is very, very fun. Uh, I would do it absolutely every day of the week again. Well, after serving some time myself, I have a much deeper respect for those that came before me and what they've gone through. I know that it was 10 times tougher than anything that I've done or seen, and they, they deserve the most, most respect possible. So really, it's being a part of something bigger than yourself. No matter what branch you go to, how, how you impact the world yourself, Every day is different, but again, you're, you're with people from all over the world, really, trying to make it a better world. So really, said, just being a part of something bigger, better.